What's up Shady Crew, back at it again with another reaction video and as promised, it's your boy Hiatus James back with another reaction video continuing uh, this three video upload um, in regards to this rap battle between Upchurch and Screwface John. Uh, Screwface John. Um, now, Upchurch's uh, track that he dropped after the last track um, that Screw uh, put up is called The Smash. So, um, not sure if this is going to be the finale. Um, of course, in the up in the uh, Screwface track, he was basically trying to do everything he could to just kind of make it go away. Like, I'm not going to react. Trying to say that um, Upchurch is going to drop a track and, you know, it doesn't matter what he says at this point. I'm over it. It's boring. I'm moving on to Grizzly Hendrix. Uh, Grizzly Hendrix. Whatever. We're going to check this out, man, because again, like I told you guys, depending on what is being stated in this track, you have to respond. Either that or just forfeit forfeit the match. I mean, it's up to you. Um, but we're going to check it out, see what bars are being dropped in this track, see how he's coming. Now, we understand the first track that he dropped was the bait track. So he baited him out. Um, got a response from him. He dropped his track, tried to flip everything that um, Upchurch dropped on um, his track. So it's kind of been a back and forth, but um, right now we're going to see if this is where the intensity comes in at. Like, is this where the kill shots come in, where it gets outright disrespectful? Is this where it starts? Um, hopefully it is, man. Of course, we won't know until the end of the video what's popping in it, but we're going to get into it, man. So without further ado, we're going to jump into this and uh, let's see what's uh, let's see what's popping, man. I thought you was a one you can't even flip a burger mate like okay so out of the rip we going right at him because I don't know about you guys but if you've seen whether it's social media or what Shrew has really been trying to flip this thing man like he's been pl playing the victims flipping to like he's been doing a whole bunch so that bar I thought you was A1, but you can't even flip a burger. Like, stop trying to flip the narrative, bro. Stop, stop. Let's, let's just get the bars out and let the chips fall where they may. It's already hopping in, man. Let's get it. I thought you was A1. You can't even flip a burger, mate. You say I took a stretch because I'm choking you from my home state. You call me Jack Black and also Patrick Swayze, a wrestler in a movie and a badass for the ladies. Hey, uh -huh. This. I'm bobbing and weaving while I just see you. Oh, I'm just playing with you like I be. I'm gonna smash this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man, salute the church for laying out the bait. He's like, look, I was just playing in the first track. It wasn't that serious, but now I'm gonna have to smash you. I'm gonna have to slide you to the side real quick, bro, because you're getting a little too big for your britches. Oh man. So far, I'm liking the, the bars. I love how he flipped up the, or he switched up his flow style, brought in that choppy flow, and then just hit him with a kill, with, with like a killer metaphor with the Habib track. Like, so far, it's lit, man. Let's get it. I got Teflon skin. I'm just playing with you like a babe. I'ma smash this. I'm bobbing and weaving while I just see you fatiguing. I seen your hour long video. Who you trying to make believe it? Cloud Nine said something and it really had me cheesing. You a dweeb with a mental illness. Go and call up Dr. Phyllis. Can't catch me outside cause you always wear the screen is. I go so fucking hard you wanna come cut off my penis. You gotta step inside my ring because I'm still inside it leading. I'm a dragon on the mic. Your wet matches outside in Brina. You call me Dylan Roof. You can keep the first name. Stick the Hey, he had to recover 
from the Dylan Roof line, and if you go do it, hey, that's one way to do it. Keep the D. You can slide that up. <laughs> Yo, okay, okay. We going at the juggler. Not playing nice anymore, I see. Hey, man, I'm loving it. I'm digging it so far. Let's go. Cause I'm still inside it leading. I'm a dragon on the mic. You're with matches outside in Brina. You call me Dylan Roof. You can keep the first name. Stick the D down your throat. I'll use the rest to cover from the right. Stop hiding your face behind your eyes. Touchback. You wanna come and get it, call him Brad. I got plenty, turn your tune, go check it to an ugly cup of pennies. Go and snort that steel lodge you got with all them Abraham Lincoln. Salty tears from your minions make it where I won't be singing. I'm a deep boy strutting down your block now. Travel to Nebraska just to build my own white house. Got all Ooh, yo, that is disrespectful. He said, I'm a D boy strutting down. Bruh, like, I will come to Nebraska, your home state, and build my own White House, presidential. Like, I will take over your spot. Like, <laughs> yo, okay, we getting, we getting grimy right now, okay? Uh, this is exactly what we were looking for. I mean, it is what it is. Right now, he's dropping bombs. He's trying to get him up out of here, like, real quick, like. Um, so far, I'm digging everything he's putting down, man. This is... It is what it is, man. You guys have to stop with this, like, oh, I don't understand what he's saying. Listen, open your ears and hear the bars of what he's saying, bro. That's crazy. It was a witty bar, though. Definitely like that. Suck his titty for milk. Oh my gosh, bro. He can't get out of this rap battle to save his life. That's crazy, man. You hate to see it. <laughs> yo, yo, Church is definitely snapping in this one. Definitely giving him bars. Um, I like how he brought back the Nebraska, uh, which was the whole thing from before of uh, he rhymed this with this. Like, he's putting everything in here to get screw up out of here like it is what it is man whether you love it or like it or don't um the bars are the bars and he's definitely hitting him right now so far that d-boy line was was hidden now he did say in this track about him sounding um him sounding more uh black than him and i think that's more so to his style of like his his music and the way he comes across. Like I told you guys, it kind of reminds me of Little John and the East Side Boys um, on the style, the way that he comes across. So I get what he's saying, bro. Like, people are so sensitive, bro. They are. It's crazy. But we gonna get into it, man. Like, it's not a it's not a knock to him. It's basically just it's the bait and switch, man. He, he's giving you what you want, bro. And if you don't like it, get on them bars and get it back. That's all I'm going to say, man. But let's get it. I'm the civics, though, and here's the fans. This time, tell your buddy, quickly lift up his shirt. Suck his titty for milk when you quench it for thirst. I'm feeling too but Don't make me hit a fart. Kick some bars, some air forces to finally come and stuff you out with. Looking on fire before, but now you're starting to smoke. Or some pigment. Yeah, you're right, we're different. I do not get dented. You're playing my games with psychology and 
fucking physics. Mm. You bring bullshit with it. I bring bullfrog rivets. No, you might not get it, but I'm wiser with the spit. You call yourself legit, but boy, you ain't even legitimate. You're not a battle rapper, you're sentimental with sentiment. And your feelings intimate, tricking yourself into thinking you're ripping shit when you isn't. Like you're the one that's engaging this. And you know what? You. Ooh, I like. Okay. All right. So that that's the finito. That's the finito right there, bro. Like. You say that you are, you say that you are a battle rap, but battle rapper, but you you are you are sentimental, cause you out here campaigning as to why he's not a rapper and why you shouldn't respond and why this and why that, bro. You in your feelings, feelings like, <laughs> yo, this is definitely this is definitely catching a body. Like he's look. He's not lying. If you go on social media right now, you see Screw all over social media trying to trying to figure out a way where he doesn't have to respond to it. And I'm pretty sure he has some of his fans that's like move on, whatever, whatever. But bruh, like like he said, I'm not the one that initiated it. Don't try to try to flip it like I started this, bruh. You started it. There are so many videos that if we go back of screws, anytime that that man was asked about this rap battle, he always was throwing shots, whether it's at, at the uh, Creek Squad or whether it was at Upchurch or the battle itself. He was always throwing his shade. So like this was a long time coming, but we knew it was coming eventually. I love the I love that flow style. I love the way that he put that together. That was witty. You call yourself legit, but boy, you ain't even legitimate. You're not a battle rapper. You're sentimental with sentiment, and your feelings intimate, tricking yourself into thinking you're ripping shit when you isn't. It's like you're the one that's engaging this. And you know what, you weak ass carbon copy MC? Hear me out, cause there's something I want you to explain to me. How your IQ so low? You gonna compare me to Dylan Roof? Take lessons from Church Man and kill shot yourself, fool. Damn. Why you gotta be so motherfucking sloppy and reckless? If I told you to break a leg, you'd I hop to breakfast. Take a shit in a urinal cause your aim is so helpless. The reason you ain't signed cause you ain't worth shelfing. And you, hit Brainiac, what the fuck you looking at? Start producing the new Ja Rule off topic flopping retarded starter tracks. I gotta take a piss, go ahead, give me the starter caps. I ain't giving no autographs. I'ma wipe my ass and send it back in some fucking bubble wrap. That's what I call Gmail. I'll overnight ship it so you still get the I'm the shit smell. Screw you ain't militant, for every attempt is a plummet. You fired a shot, I wasn't budging, two more and still nothing. I don't know what's lower, you or North Korea's defense budget. Damn. And as far as I'm concerned, this beef is now deceased. The mad cow had to die because it had a fucking disease. So for everyone in the future who thinks they gonna cloud chase me, I didn't get this big from not being able to fucking bleed. I rap for no color, I rap for no money. Half the shit I got, I give it to my brothers or my homies. You can stereotype me a million ways you won't, dude, but you won't beat me in hip-hop. I'm a pro with the tools. <laughs> shit. Well, damn. Um, well, that was awkward. Uh, <laughs> that, oh, shit. Um... Yeah, 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 yeah. That uh, that acapella was 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 that was tough. That was tough, man. Um, yeah. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get into this, man. Up church, um, the smash. Um, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much the end of it. Pretty much. Um, I mean. Of course, now you're gonna have screw. I, I kind of get it now why he's like, I'm gonna probably respond because you have someone that basically said it's dead now. It's dead now, everything's out. But that last, the like, I don't care what y'all say, man. People have their own opinion, but that last bar where he went acapella, he ripped into your ass. Like, it is what it is. You can feel how you wanna feel about it. Uh, that's why you rap. It gives you your opportunity to say what you're gonna say. Um, but that was tough, man. Um, and yeah, he flipped everything back that you had threw at him. Um, he definitely hit deep. Um, he even called out your beat master, the hit Brainiac. Like, he said you out here creating a Ja Rule clone? What the hell? Oh my gosh, okay. 
Um, yeah, man. So, this, I mean, we were looking for the knockout blow. We were looking for when that, that punch was going to gonna come uh yeah he flushed the toilet on this one um it is what it is now i'm pretty sure that there is going to be a response from screw in regards to this track um but i mean saying that sentimental line and then watching uh screw's movements man that is a that's that's damaging bro that is damaging because it is spot on right now. You look like you in your feelings. Pandering to a crowd, asking them or telling them this is what's going to happen. Trying to coerce them to see it your way. And that's not the way that rap works, man. Like everybody has their own perspective. They believe what they want. Um, and you got to give them that freedom to think for themselves. Like if they like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. Um, but this was definitely murder on the track. Um, Upchurch definitely threw his kill shot, his kill blow out there, deading this uh, forevermore. <laughs> because, man, that is tough to come back from. Um, I thought the Dylan Roof line was tough to come back from, but that acapella, that was just downright disrespectful. Like, you felt the energy um, from the track and the bars that he was spitting on that, bro. He flushed the toilet. Um, like I said, you hate to see it, man. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, right now, at, at this point, until, until Screw drops another track, if he decides to drop another track, it is what it is, man. Um, like I said, he knew that this track was coming. He knew that Up Church was going to drop something hitting harder. He, he, I mean, you've been around rap enough to know what's happening. So he knew what was happening. He tried to get ahead of it. Tried to coerce everybody, tried to put a spin on it, a narrative uh, to get people to distance themselves and not look into it. But hey, man, um, it's a rap battle for a reason. Like, either you're going to finish it or you're not. Um, and if you're not, then it's already finished. That's pretty much the long and short of it, man. Like, you at this point, if you don't respond, then you already know what it is. We don't want to hear anything else about the L that you took to Upchurch. Just, just move on, bro. Just, just move on. Don't, no more dropping these little um, undertones in your vids and all that type stuff. Just drop it. Just leave it alone. This ain't Dax that ran away from you and just left you alone and just, until y'all decided to be cool again. This ain't that. So, like, either you're gonna respond to it and put your best punch out there and let the chips fall where they may. Are you gonna walk away, man? But uh, it's definitely at this point until further notice. It's a dead subject, man. He put the stamp, the nail on the head, put it into in the coffin. He dropped it down. Like I said, he flushed the toilet. He did all of it. Cross the T's, dot the I's. He did it all. It is what it is, man. Everybody's gonna feel how they want to feel, but the truth is what it is, man. Um, he definitely did everything that he could to get you up out of here. <laughs> one quick one quick throw to get you up out of here so um it was definitely dope for me man um and we'll see where it goes from here man if this is the final track then you know it is what it is it's what we thought it was gonna end up being which was him catching another l however reluctant <laughs> um but i mean it is what it is man um but, like I said, the bars in this track were definitely hidden. He definitely came with the intensity, switched up his flow style a couple different times, dropped to the acapella, definitely got all of his points across, and he did what he did. Um, you know, even down to the point of them questioning, you know, his flow style and if he can rap, he put that to bed. So, he's done his job. It's up to uh, Screw if he's going to respond or not. Um, but anyways, guys... This was dope for me, man. You guys have to tell me what you thought about the track and what was the hardest bar in this diss track for you. And uh, we're going to keep this moving. Make sure you stay locked to this channel. Your video is coming up next. Make sure you smash that like. Subscribe if you're new. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, Shady Crew. Stay shady out there.